Newcastle have been beaten at Stamford Bridge. Three goals to two goals. I'm Charlotte. I'm joined by Sai. We've just come away from watching what was a pretty fucking dreadful performance from both Newcastle and Chelsea in a way, but mostly <laughs> Newcastle. Um, Sai, I am feeling pretty deflated. I'm feeling pretty... I feel pretty irritated now, if I'm honest. Like, I, I'm quite an upbeat, chipper gal, but I think, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, make a change and, and, and don't, don't approach the game like this. There's a million things I want to say. But should we talk about the defence? Because Newcastle are now the joint best or possibly worst. Uh, Definitely worst. Yeah, it's the worst. Um, we have conceded uh, the joint amount of away goals this season. That is a is a title we're sharing with Sheffield United. We have um, both our teams have let in. 32 away goals this season the defense was pretty all over the place tonight yeah um all three goals were just just so poor so poor i mean look it was a bit of a gung-ho performance we we thought um the wolves game where we played a bit more counter-attacking a bit more deep um it seemed to suit the team in the current state they're in in terms of fitness in terms of energy levels uh, we can't do this intense high press and yeah, that's what we went for today. The old gung ho, see if we can score more. You know, the entertainers are back, I suppose. Um, but that game was not entertaining. It Price was it now. was just end to end poor football, wasn't it? Really poor football. Yeah, um, I have a, um, a non Newcastle supporting uh, Man United fan mate. He's not from Manchester. Won't what? talk about that. But um, he, he messaged the, the the lads in the WhatsApp group at halftime or you know towards the end of the second half, um, which would be full time, um, <laughs> saying what what's wrong with the defence? Why? Why is the same back four conceding so many more goals this season? And it's like, where do you want me to start, mate? Mm. Like, it's uh, there's so many things different. Obviously, Dubravka, and I know he's been good, but today he's just rooted to the line today. It it, it changes everything. That the first goal, he doesn't come out. He can just come and pick up that ball. But yeah. even if he, it doesn't look like he's given Botman a shout because Botman just just clears it anyway. But even if he's given him a shout, Botman's clearly not confident of letting the keeper take that. So he he makes a rubbish clearance. And they come back in and score it. Yeah, it's a nice little um, flicked sort of semi deflection from Jackson. But um, yeah, just the keeper is one thing. The midfield in front of the of the defence now is obviously a massive problem. Sean Longstaff doesn't make tackles. Um, Bruno can't make tackles. Willock is back, and it's nice to have him back. But defensively, he didn't really offer as much today. So we we we've played this gung ho football and left yeah. that back four exposed. That's why they've conceded three goals again and i don't think individually any of them were that bad botman again i'm getting a bit worried about botman's form and his general demeanor and um confidence but yeah yeah i don't know there's just so much to unpick about our defending there is and it now looks like we're probably gonna have to deal with more problems because burn went off he landed on his shoulder and i think it was the shoulder that he had trouble with at the end of last season so he went off no no, no, I'm just saying, is it a problem if Burns injured? No, but I, I suppose what I mean is, is this like, um, yeah, he has, he's been very, very hit and miss this season and he's been the target of a lot of um, vitriol, certainly online. But what I suppose I mean is more changes, weaker bench, because this game, we've seen a million injuries as well. Like um, Gordon had to come off uh, in the first half. Uh, he, he he wasn't you know the most effective, but he did look injured quite early on. He's had to come off with his knee. That's his dream of being at the Euros is probably over now. If if, if that's a long standing knee, if that's going to be a long uh, term knee problem, and Byrne had to come off, and then it just they were stamping all over us. It just we just didn't look. We looked tired, and I don't know how we're tired. Yeah, um, nine days to prepare for this one. It didn't feel like we had anything over Chelsea in terms of game plan. Now, look, Pochettino is a good manager as well. Maybe they had a bit of a game plan for us, but something just wasn't right about that performance. But yeah, I'm more concerned now that with the injuries you've just mentioned, and yeah, I was being silly about Dan Byrne. He's, he's, yeah. He'll be a miss, you know. Um, I don't, even though Liv Livermento was fine at left back, I preferred him at right back when he when he's when he came on there against Wolves and he started this game really well. Um, he's a right back. Um, so burnout means we've got to shuffle things around again well Kraft um, came on and he was yeah okay yeah. Uh, Gordon injury like the, the, this is the wheels coming off our season now <laughs> it could literally be it like we go we go to the Etihad on Saturday and the season now hinges on a game that we have so little chance of winning it feels like the wheels have just kind of 
Yeah, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting worried, Charlotte. I'm getting worried. Yeah, I am too. We'll probably leave it there for the instant reaction because I feel like I um I just feel like oh. I need to crawl into a hole and just he's, sit in the hole for a bit. Isaac scored a really good goal. Isaac scored a really good Murphy goal. Scored Murphy an even better scored goal. a really like, good goal. We, we Livermento to... looked very good tonight, I thought. Um, but there were there were more problems than there are bright spots, and there are certainly questions to ask about the choices made as a whole tonight. And, and I think that is probably the most concerning thing. So we will get into it, of course, on our main podcast and we'll be back after the City game on Saturday. <laughs> 